Good morning, good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back on a good, nice Monday. Hosted by our sponsors by Coach Brian. Get your find located in New Iberia, Louisiana, 70563. Welcome on the Monday back, guys. It's going well. Welcome back to another episode of Live with Brian, and we're going to get it going on today. Keep on chiming in. Keep on hitting that share button. Keep on hitting that like button. You know what time it is. Only on Hot 107.9. Live with Coach Brian. See, I could be a radio host if I wanted to. Good morning, y'all. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Hope y'all feeling good on this Monday. Let's get this Monday rolling. Let's feel good on this Monday. Let's shake it off. Come on. Come in here and shake it off. We got to talk. Come talk. We got to come talk, y'all. That's why I'm Come on, share it up, share it up. Cause once y'all know how we do. Once this song is over, in the next five, ten seconds, we go get this day rolling. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. Let's get everybody in. Let's get everybody in. Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on with it. Share this thing up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see a whole bunch of faces up in here. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, indeed. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. From the long weekend that we had, I know everybody got their first day back to work, back from school, back from whatever. But listen, don't let the Mondays get you down. But before we start, you already know how we do. We're going to do our morning affirmations. Whatever I say on my end, you finish whatever you need on the other end. So if I say, uh, oh, if I say I am, and if you need strength on today, you say strength. Um, if you need money on today, I'll say I am, and then you say. Uh, wealthy in abundance i attract money whatever you need so let's start it off i am i will be i need i have and i am thankful for good morning good morning good morning what's going on everybody man look this Thanksgiving break was different. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but my Thanksgiving break was was real, real, real different. Like coming back to the show um, on this Monday, y'all. And I'm just thinking about like this past weekend. I just let me give y'all a quick briefing on what happened. So Thanksgiving, normally, see, I don't know. I think it's because I didn't got used to like meal prepping and eating a certain type of way. To where it's like I'll be hungry, yeah. But like once I get that first big meal in me, that's it. I could just coast for the rest of the day. It's like I could eat snacks. Like little things here and there, but I wasn't really that hungry. But it was good to see like a lot of family that that has moved out of the state, honestly, and has moved away. And like, I'm just glad that I got a chance to see a lot of my people, man. It was real dope. You know, I didn't. I I mean, granted, I had work the next morning, so like I was really just not say in and out, but like I stayed. You know, I did my time. I talked to my people, then I dipped up out there. Good morning, everybody. I see some more people coming in. Good morning. And uh, the day after, I want to say no, no, no. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday, so that was. So it's Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, um, well, really just Saturday. I've been doing these things. Well, for all y'all that don't know, I've been uh doing these bonfires at my house for all my close friends and like a few extra friends that I have. You know, but like I've been noticing that, you know, it's in the cold. Good morning, Keely. It's been it's been getting in the colder season, so it's like I've been really taking the time to not nurture my friends in a sense, but like make sure that we all have decent outlets. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Terrell show, but Terrell is by far one of the best YouTubers I have ever met when it comes down to this music and just life game. Like he uh, hit a million subscribers not too long ago. So he did a show with all the new modern age R&B and soul singers of our our day and age, like people our age and like a little bit older. But like, bro, it was amazing. I'm talking, especially Duran. Y'all, if y'all know me, Duran, Kirby, like, and bro, bro, like y'all just don't understand. It was, it was an amazing show. So if y'all haven't seen it, go to YouTube, type in Terrell, T-E-R-E-L-L-E, and you'll, you can't miss it. It's all over YouTube right now. Like you type in his name, that'll probably be the first thing that pop up and it's a free show. So you don't even have to really, you don't have to pay for it. You know, just go do the views, actually pay him, you know, get, let them get their celebration on. But 
I had um I invited everybody to my yard to my backyard. We used to do it in, on the side of my house, all kind of in the front yard, but I don't know. It just it didn't. I, we might bring that back. We might we might bring that location back, but it don't feel the same as it as it was in my backyard. You know, I, I put everything in the backyard, but I had the idea. I was like, let me get the projector too, because I have like before um when we first moved into this house, we didn't have well we yeah we had a TV. Yeah, we had we had the TV, but we didn't really have like the Wi Fi and everything set up yet. Um, so we had, and we only had like one TV, I believe. So we had the projector that I had, the one that I got, it was like for the iPhone. So we would connect like the iPhone to the projector. We'll put the projector face in the wall, like cut a corner from the bed, and like we'll just watch everything like that. So I took that outside. I put it way in my backyard, but it filled up the back side of my house, right? And what well, the back left side of my house was like we was watching the Terrell show and then I had the bonfire going. But my real reason for doing the bonfire other than bringing my people together was like, you know, I'm a I'm a very symbolic and like practical type of person. Well, I can be. And I'm real big on symbolism. I'm real big on, you know, if you do something and you put meaning behind something, regardless of what it means to others, it means something to you and it means something in the real world. So I made everybody. So I got like a whole bunch of paper, right? And I shredded it up enough to where like everybody had like a paper ball at least that big. And I handed, you know, it was, keep in mind, like it wasn't like right when everybody got there, but everybody got there, you know, everybody was having a good time. We had already got in. Some people were drinking. Some people was, you know, I had went get pizza. You know, everybody was chilling. We was having a good time. The music was rolling. Good morning, Miss Gaynell. The music was rolling. And then, you know, I kind of like slowed everything down because towards the end of Terrell's show, it got like real worshipy and I was like, perfect. It'd be the perfect time to do it. So I had cut, uh, ripped up the papers and then I gave it to everybody and they didn't even know I was about to do it. But I was like, yo, so, you know, we're about to enter into another year. We're about to go into a whole another phase of life. It's going to be different adversity. It's going to be different this, that, and the third, you know, but I want you to take this piece of paper and you don't have to say it out loud and you don't have to throw it in the fire immediately, but take this piece of paper and put whatever you're trying to leave behind you this year, what you're trying to, like, stop doing, any bad habits, any things afflicting you, like, any, it could be anything. Whatever you're going through, whatever you want to put on that paper. But, you know, you really focus your your attention and your energy on that. And then whenever you feel as though you've put everything that you feel is necessary for you to leave behind in this year, throw it in the fire. You know, and you you should y'all should have seen, like, the the stillness that had hit the party. You know, it's like... Oh yeah, shout out to my mama. And my mama was over there for a little while. Granted, my mama, my mama didn't even know who was doing the bonfire. And she came earlier. Well, her, my, her, my sister, and my dad came earlier. And I'm talking about we was supposed to be outside at like six, seven o'clock. My mama had was telling stories and just had everybody laughing for about four, five hours. It was literally, it was so funny. But um, you should have seen like the stillness and not really like a heaviness that took over the party, but it was like you could tell people needed that moment. You know, so everybody had like kind of thought, and I told him, I said, just because you see somebody throw their problems or whatever they're trying to put in the flame, like leave uh, and burn it or whatever, and leave it back here. If you're not ready, if you don't have that list together, you know, take your time. Even if you don't throw it until it's time for us to go, like really sit and chew on this, you know. So I was, as I looked around a little bit, you know, you could see people really thinking, and you could see people like, like just in the state of like, man, I've been, I've been needing something like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people were just. I ain't going to say doing them, but, like, really just zoned in. And it was so funny. Y'all should have seen it. As people started throwing stuff in there, some some stuff burned regularly. Some stuff didn't. And they had a few people. They put the, uh, and then it's ironically, it was the ones that really took the, the longest to, like, write, well, to mentally write their things out on their paper and put it in the fire. Those those two people, they had, when they put this, like, everybody else's stuff burned regularly. You know, went from the, the reddish, uh, orange, you know, like, to that type of fire, and it fizzled out, smoked out, whatever. But when they threw their stuff in the fire, the fire turned blue. And I'm sitting there like, oh, something really just happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I I love, as I recap about this weekend, for all the people that's coming in that don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about what happened this past Thanksgiving break. But, um, man, it was, it was I'm just glad that I listened to, to, to God. I listened to my spirit, and I did it. You know, because y'all know me, I love, I love bringing people together for a good time. You know, it's like, I'm one of those people that know if you're going to come to my, well, well, most people know if you're going to come to my house, we're going to have a good time, you know, but it ain't going to be all that craziness. It ain't going to be all that violence. It ain't going to be all that people up in there going belligerent, acting crazy. You're not coming to my house for that. And if you don't want to leave, I'll make you leave. I got enough in my house and enough in my pockets to make you leave. Trust me with lead 
hot lead if you need it. But, you know, people feel protected. A lot of people come to my house for peace. You know, I have friends that come to my house sometimes just to escape their lives, just to take naps. Because it's like I pray so much and I meditate so much in this house to where it's like, I, and I already told God, it's like that's that's the type of house that I want. You know, like when people come over, it's peaceful. It's a good time. You know, no no crazy stuff happening. Because if you can't have no peace and no escape in your own house, or if people can't come to your house and feel peace, you know, and feel like they can just be themselves, then what are you doing? Good morning, Tere. Oh, Tere, what's going on, man? I ain't even. This your first show? I hope I hope this your first show, so you can kind of get what I've been doing. But um, but yeah, man, it, it's it's really like it's really awesome to know that what to see. That, you know, all the praying and all of the meditating and all of the affirmations I do in my house on a day to day basis and for myself in general, because I told God, I, said, I want I want that same atmosphere that's that's in my house to be to that light, you know, to be with me every day because I train different pe type of people going through different types. That's another thing people don't understand. Being a personal tra being a personal trainer, you're not just a personal trainer, bro. Like them people going to get comfortable with you and they're going to start talking about their life. Man, I didn't hear some stuff. And I didn't have to talk to some people about some stuff about like just y'all would y'all wouldn't even think that that these particular people are going through these type of things. Like people I'm talking about not no love marital problems. I'm talking about like marital dysfunction, you know, like physically dysfunctional, emotionally dysfunctional. And granted, you know, I tell them like I'm not a licensed, you know, a therapist or nothing like that. You know, physically, yeah, for personal training and all of that, I can help you physically, you know, and a little bit spiritually. But it's like. Just know I'm not like no therapist or no psychiatrist. So when I give you this advice or when I'm talking to you about this, that and the third, you know, just know that it's coming from a place of, of what I feel as though is discernment or intuition from God. You know, because I'm a I don't see I don't like when people like ask me for advice or if I ask somebody for advice and they just say they just say anything. It's like one I'm listening and two, if I don't feel led to give you advice, even though you just bared your soul to me. You know, if I don't feel led or if I don't feel like anything downloaded into me in that moment to be said to you, I'm not giving you no advice and I'm not critiquing anything because I don't, people don't understand what you tell somebody in their most vulnerable states, the things you do to people in their most vulnerable states that affects them, you know, and that really puts a mark on their life. And that sometimes is most is the most memorable moments of their life. Excuse me. So with that being said. You know, for me, is like, that's why I take the time to, like, really think about life. I really take the time to, like, do stuff like this with my podcast, show people other perspectives of life and show you guys my perspective of how I, I look at things. You know, really take the time to, like, pray over my house, do my affirmations, you know, make sure there's peace there, make sure there's order in my house. You know, because whenever people come here, it ain't no show. It ain't me faking or nothing like that. People know when you come to my house, you're going to have a good time. You're going to be you're going to be chill. Like, prime example. Uh, let's see my friend Miles, you got Joy, you got Dion, you got Bree. I wanna say that's the that's the four people so far that then came oh Chris, uh well well not Chris Jones, but uh the other Chris guitar playing Chris and Cortland I wanna say. Like whenever they have come to my house to just to like just be here or escape, oh I got work later, but I wanna hang out and I don't feel like going back, blah blah, blah this that and the third. Everybody know that big old conjoined sofa we got in the front. Man, good morning, Cree. Um we got weighted blankets, blankets and all that type of stuff. You'll see, you'll see people who like that will be sleeping on that thing, bro. And they'll be like, bro, this ain't even a bed. And it's the best sleep I didn't got in my life. Because it's it's a lot more than just, you know, oh, you came and take a nap in my house. And then then they be they, they don't realize I'd be slick. Whenever people come here, like prime example, I ain't going to say his name because that ain't none of y'all business to, to know who I'm talking about. But, you know, he's going through some some stuff right now, some relationship stuff some life stuff and life is heavy. He may not, he may not always say how heavy his life is, but you know, when you, when you got a real friend that you're connected with, you can see when they're going through some stuff. And I'm not the type of friend that's going to pull it out. You like, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that, Hey, we can talk about it. I'll put, I'll put the opportunity on the table, but I'm not going to sit there and just pull, pull, pull because not everybody be ready to talk about stuff all the time. So, so, but you know, like he was going through some stuff. We had talked about a good bit of stuff, but he didn't, he didn't open the door all the way and I'm not going to force it. But he was like, yeah, man, you know, I got work in like a little hour. Is it cool if I take me a little nap, blah, blah, blah. And I always run everything with Amber, you know. So I was like, hey, such and such said, you know, they about to go to work or whatever. He's just going to be out for a little while. You cool with that? She's like, I'm about to take me a nap too. So she in the room napping, he in the room napping. I'm just up. So, um, you know, he I could have seen the heaviness on him. But like, you know, as he laid down and like he was about to go to sleep or whatever, I put my affirmation in my uh my worship music on. And no, it ain't. What's going, what's going on? Good morning, Dad. Um, it's not like no big, dun, 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 like no crazy stuff. It's like, no, it's real, like meditative state music, like real chill type music. 
and people be waking up, they be like, bro, that's the best sleep I ever had. You know, and it's like, and that's another thing too, y'all. Like, pray over y'all friends when they come over and you see they're going through. It's like, I be doing stuff like that too. It's like, I knew what he was going through mostly. You know, I put the music on. I see he was like, he was unloading. And while he was like that, granted, I was on my phone, like, watching basketball. Just keep myself occupied. I ain't going to make a whole bunch of noise and be in my studio making big, loud beats and stuff like that if people trying to rest and be peaceful, you know. So, I mean, I got 30, 45 minutes to spare before they wake up and got to go somewhere. I'll be praying over my friends. Lord, I pray that this happened. I pray that, you know, he let this go. I pray that she do this. And I pray that blah, blah, blah. You know, I pray the doors open up. I pray blah, blah, You know, and, like, really do that for your friends. And, like... They be like, oh, it'd be so peaceful, this, that, and the third. Because I made sure that I tapped in while you was here. Because that's nothing, too. Not out, not everybody knows how to tap in like that. And not everybody knows what to do in those situations. You know, and not a lot of people can do it on there. Sometimes that stuff was meant to be. Now, granted, you know, like I said, I, I pray and do everything in my house to where it's like, even because you got that's another thing people have to understand when it comes down to like spirituality and all of that. You can be praying and you can be helping your friends and helping people, this, that, and the third. But you can't let all of that stuff linger in your house. You know, like, make sure you, you pray and move that stuff. They hit a garbage truck outside. That's them barking. Ignore them. But, like, you got to um, you gotta let all that stuff go. You know, like, you, know, you got to get that stuff out your house. There's a, there's a practice. There's a method to this routine. You know, like, you got to know how to operate and stuff like that. I don't just do it because, oh, that's the right thing to do. No, I, like, I take my time and have to understand what's going on and understand how to place certain atmospheres in my house to make sure things go smoothly. You know? Good morning, Miss Stephanie. And, like, what people don't understand... Is that, you know, friendship, you know, when you really when you really in sync with some people, bro, it's a lot bigger than just being there when they call. It's a lot bigger than just like, you know, like throwing a text message or a meme every now and then. When you get that discernment, are you in them, them spaces to where it's like you start picking up on stuff spiritually? You know, or you start picking up on things and it's like, all right, so what do I do about this? Because just because you picked up on it don't mean you have to address it. That's why I say y'all be patient. Whenever y'all get or have like a good enough connection or discernment to where like when information hits you or in you in certain moments, you got to determine is that OK for you to say or like, you know, how do you how do you even move in that situation? Because you'll you'll have somebody venting into you being vulnerable and you'll get something that you got to that's for them in a sense. But, you know, you have to you have to watch or you have to wait for that delivery method. Or wait till you feel right or the moment feels right to say certain things. Because when people are being vulnerable and people are saying how they feel and friends are venting and letting weights off and stuff like that. And they, they're coming to a place, you know, like my house for peace and stuff like that. It's not my job to. Now, granted, my friends know if you come to me with something and, and you need to be, I ain't going to say chastised, but if you need to be told about yourself, I'm going to do it. Because, I mean, I got to go through it myself. Amber be grilling me. My parents be grilling me if need be. You know, God be grilling me. My other good friends, they'll grill me if I need to. But at the same time, it's like, you know, Tere, it's ironic. Tere just said, speak on it. I never had to chastise Tere, Tere or anything like that. But he's another. He's a he's a friend. You know, granted, he doesn't live here anymore. But he's a friend. He, he'll he vouch for me. He'll know that, like, well, y'all know through him that me and Tere, they had some talks. And I ain't told Tere some facts. You know, I, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But look at Tere now. You know, Tere, now granted, Tere always had the potential to do what he's doing now and what he's going to be doing in the future. But it's like, imagine how that would have affected him if he would have came to me with such sincerity, you know, in real like, hey, what's your opinion on this? How you feel about this? Hey, I want to show you something that's special to me and I don't function properly. You know, I don't I don't take the time to really watch what I say and do whenever he's being that that percentage of vulnerable with me. You know, so I say all that to say, man, like listen to listen to your heart and listen to your spirit. And really, y'all y'all need to really start, especially with the times that we're about to go in for next year. I'm not saying it's going to be doom and gloom or nothing like that. But what I am saying is it is important for us to know how to control the atmospheres in our house. It is very important for us to understand how to function and how to create spaces, safe spaces, peaceful spaces, happy spaces, you know, creative, innovative spaces in our own homes. Because if we don't do that and if we don't start practicing how to do that and if we don't start really trying to tap in to do stuff like that, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem because we have things that we have to why is she barking like this? Anyways, we're gonna have real problems. And we're gonna have to move a certain type of way because if we don't, 
then you're going to be in these spaces to where you're going to be trying to figure out what to do next or I can't even think straight because I don't even have decent peace inside my house. I can't even do what I want to do because I can't even function properly in my own house. You know, so make sure you're taking the time to nurture your house, nurture your space, nurture yourself and really work on these things because, say, your your friends and family need you or need your space for peace or you need your space for peace. You know, or you need to you need to be able to cultivate some type of emotion or something that's going to get you to where you need to be. Then if you're not doing it or if you can't do it, if you can't do it, you're stuck. You know, we're not trying to be stuck in 2022. That's nothing. I've been forgetting what next year is. Am I the only one that's doing that? It's like, I'd be wanting to say, like, oh, it's 2022 right now. Or, like, oh, we're in 2020. Or It's like, I don't know what it is, but my dates and years have been just doing this. They've been going in and out in the weirdest spaces. I don't know why I've been doing that. Because, like, all I'll be saying is, like, okay, we're about to go into December. It's going to be next year. Because, like, we're, we're wrapping up the year, you know? So, it's like, for me, and I already feel how I feel about time and stuff like that. I have this theory about, like, the dates that we're in right now aren't actually the real dates. Because, you know, daylight saving and all the stuff we be doing and how the world moves and how time moves and how time was actually constructed by this, that, and the third. Like, we're not actually on the days and times that we think we are or that they say that we're that we're in, but that's a whole nother topic. But um, one more topic before I get out y'all head, y'all, because I don't want to hold y'all too long. I know it's Monday. People got stuff to do and people ready to go back. Um, Before I go into the next topic, we've been cleared. So be looking out on all platforms. The podcast is officially cleared on all platforms. I'm just waiting to get one more email. I have the um the date is going to be December 7th, I believe. That's going to be the release date for like all the episodes I've done so well all the selected episodes that I chose to put out so far and everything that we're going to be doing moving forward, all the guest features and all that type of stuff. I got all the um copyrights and all that stuff taken care of. Y'all, I am trying to get especially you Teray, whenever you in town, whenever you in town, bro. I would love it. What's going on, Gracie? Shout out to Gracie. Gracie uh, been come, ever since I seen Gracie inside the live stream and stuff like that. It's been she's been sharing and like stuff really been happening. Thank you so much, Gracie. I don't know I don't know exactly who you know, but every time you share, big things happen. I appreciate you. But um, what I was about to say. Oh yeah, Teray, if you're still in here, I would love for you to do an episode one day. And I'm trying to get a lot more people. So like I know you guys see me bringing in like special people and important people and stuff like that, but. I don't deem, I don't count you guys out, you know, so like if if you're a listener or somebody who just wants to share their perspective or somebody who wants to just be on the show and like have some things to talk about, like I would really love you guys to hop on in, have another perspective and let's just talk because like I said before, this is only the beginning, like if y'all only knew how much work I've been putting in to change like Cause it's not gonna it's not gonna look like this forever. Like I know it's a very what well, to me it it is. I'm and I'm appreciative. Let me start by saying I'm grateful for what I have. But you know I want to change how things look in here, and I'm potentially might be moving my uh my podcast space to my uh my other little building I have in my backyard. It it just depends. But I know it's like it's certain things I I want it to look a certain type of way. I want it to sound a certain type of way, and you know, I'm really getting used to these softwares and stuff like that. And y'all y'all about to see this stuff go to another level. The specials that we have coming up that I talked about the uh, the last podcast for all y'all that missed it, I have this um Christmas special. It's not going to be on Christmas Day because I'm I'm gonna have to be by my family and all that type of stuff. Like and every, the plus y'all gonna be by your family. Y'all gonna be drinking and cutting up. Y'all ain't gonna try to be on this podcast on Christmas Day. Don't even be looking for me to do no December twenty fifth Christmas. I'm not doing that. But I know some days in um throughout December before Christmas, I want to do like a soul R and B slash poetry um podcast episode so it'll be like maybe an hour an hour 30 45 minutes maybe um i'm gonna have like live music i'm gonna have some poets i'm gonna have i re- y'all i ain't gonna say who the mc is gonna be but i gotta call this person today and i'm gonna talk to them today and if they say yes i'll tell y'all this it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be funny now granted i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen as far as like production because well production quality because i'm not doing what teray did if y'all don't know teray had put on this and I, I was so honored first of all i'm so honored to say that i played in that it was dope but teray had put on this big artist show um it was a quarantine type show i want to say that was last year or year before the date's kind of hazy in my head but teray had commercial flips and camera flips and was doing all this and we on the stage and the camera was off and it it was high, it was it was high quality it was dope I ain't doing all of that. Y'all going to get me saying, y'all going to get us playing a few little transitions here and there. 
I'm going to have somebody on the camera doing their little whatever, and then we're going to come back to what we was doing because, look, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, people these days, they don't have the time to rehearse and do all of that. Plus, we're going we gonna to do what we can, you know, until we get nah, – but when I get my building, though, whenever I'm going to get everything else rolling, y'all ain't going to be able to stop me. Y'all, now, I'm t- let me tell you something. It's going to be so funny. It's going to be so good. Like, I really want y'all – for this special, I want y'all to be enjoying yourself. You know, plug me up in y'all speakers, let the music roll because it's gonna be, it's gonna be artists that I'm gonna be presenting, and it's gonna be uh, bands that I'm gonna be letting play y'all. That for one, I like to keep things local. You know, I wouldn't mind going outsourcing and getting like the bigger bands and artists that I know to come fly in. I can do that, but and I have the connections for it. But I want to. That's the whole thing about this podcast. I want to. All the people that I know now, all the local talent that we have that a lot of people are looking down on or don't see, I want to expose that now. You know, I want to take the time to really be like, all right, y'all, here's such and such from New Iberia. Here's such and such from Lafayette. Here's this person from Broussard. Here's this person person from Natchitoches, this, that, and the third. And, like, you know, they coming through and they're displaying their talents, a live band behind them, or their tracks behind them, you know, and just showing people that we have gems. Because you got to think about it. I'm not where I want to be yet. But I'm very successful to say I'm just a simple little person out of New Iberia, Louisiana, you know, that went to UL and started doing this with music, started doing this with personal training and started doing this with all this other type of stuff. You know, so it's like y'all going y'all y'all going to be surprised the people that's going to be up here. And y'all going to be like, I never heard of them. But you're going to be like, oh, my God, what's their link for their music? Like, especially if Terrain in town, Terrain, you better best you best believe you're going to be on this show. You already know I need you on here. Well, I want you on here. But, you know, it's like. Man, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I'm just, I'm so ready for all the things that's happening. I had a friend come over last night. I ain't going to put too much of his business out there. But, like, the stuff that he got planned, the stuff that that he about to start doing, like, y'all just don't understand. Like, I love, like I said last night before he had left, I love that all of my friends and associates around me right now are doing exactly what I've been praying for. I've been praying that everybody steps into their gifts and callings that everybody steps into the seasons that they need to be in, that everybody does what's important for them and that their gifts start making room for them. Cause like I'm tired of seeing all my friends and people that I know that I've had certain conversations with still be in this doggone rat race, you know, and I'm not, look, if you got to work a nine to five, if that's your passion, if that's what you want to do, if you're comfortable with that, that's you. But the the friends and the people I have in my circle, I know we don't like that stuff because we're not built like that. We're built to entertain. We're built to be innovative. We're built to be different, you know? So like to see, them slowly getting out of those nine to fives comfortably and then on top of that like really it's taking like a step even past that you got some people that got the audience to make hundreds of thousands of dollars per month per year like man y'all don't understand i'd be so happy whenever my friends come over and we get to talking and we get to talking about plans and what they got going on and we and i'm the type of friend you're not going to just talk to me about a plan and we're not going to really go. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a help you proofread. Okay, let's crunch numbers. Okay, if you got this many audience people, if you get this percentage to do this, that, and the third, you're going to average this. You can resource this and use this to execute this and do this. Okay, file save. Okay, next person. We're going to do it. Like, I'm that type of friend because I, I don't want to see you half-stepping. Like, you know if you're going to come to me with an idea, I'm going to help you water that seed and it's going to grow. And if I come to, that, to come to you with an idea, vice versa, I love that all my friends reciprocate that energy. You know, so... Man, I'm just so excited. I'm re- I can't wait for y'all. And I'm gonna be sharing it. So whatever y'all feel like y'all gonna miss, you know, I will be sharing it. I will be um I will be putting it out and helping them people uh, grow their stuff too. So like y'all gonna be in tune. So don't worry about missing anything. I'm a- and I'm gonna have a lot of those people on the show, preferably before the end of this year. But man, it's 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 amazing, y'all. It's amazing. Really be on the lookout for all the Christmas stuff we got going on. Um, all the seasonal stuff we have going on, all the people that's about to be on here, man, it's going to be lit. But as y'all can hear, I have to wrap this up. Granted, I was about to end that almost not anyway, but my pull-up baby got to use the bathroom, and I'm the only person at the house right now. I don't know why she up this early. But we're going to end with our normal affirmations, guys. And I'm going to just do it like this. I'm going to just fix it real quick. I don't know if y'all can still hear me or not. But um, we're going to end it like, like this, y'all. We're going to have our normal there we go we're gonna have our normal uh post affirmations that we that we normally do so uh instead of like the one that we did when we first opened up the podcast it's going to be i'm going to say something you're going to see it on your end and we're going to just manifest it together okay so uh i am loved i am appreciated i am cherished i am special and i am creative 
and I will have an amazing day. Peace and love. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on today. I know it's post Thanksgiving and it's Monday. So, you know, people, they tired, people getting groggy, but I will see y'all tomorrow. We got a very, very, very special topic tomorrow. So I love you guys. Peace and chicken grease. And I will see you guys later.